thanks to Mac, we're going to edit this image. He asked me to do something about the sign, right? The post. But here's the problem. If I remove this post, then that means I would need to do something to recreate this ambulance, right? And there's no way to do this rightfully in Darktable. Better to use GIMP for that if you want to do something like that. But I just looked at this image and I was like, I'm not even going to bother with that here in Darktable. So I'm just going to go to straight to the crop module, activate it. And I'm going to make sure it's on 16 by 9. But obviously you can change it to anything you like. And I'm just going to crop that out, right? Now I want to make sure that the lake is going to be the center of attention for you know as good as it can be we're going to make sure that these trees on the first third rules of third and then this is on the second rules of third if you want to you can also crop out this little thing up here and then once you're satisfied you just close down the crop module and then this is the image that you get right now this looks horrible no offense but we definitely need to tweak this so let's start by adding in some contrast with the filmic rgb module going to the look display and then 1.1 by the way I'm doing that by clicking my right mouse button. That's the most easy way to add manual values. And then we're going to work on the white balance because that seems to be off as well because this was actually shot late during the day. It's not nighttime, obviously, but we're going to change this into a little bit more of a daylight short or a shot done during golden hour. Now let's open this up. And then if you're new here, this is the best way to fix the white balance. Just make sure that all of these things align, right? So in this case, that means I need to bump up the greens and I need to bump up the reds and I need to drop the blues. Maybe pump up the reds even more like so. Now, obviously this needs some tweaking, but let me increase the exposure as well. Here we go. This already looks a lot better than what it was because here it is before and then here it is after, right? Now let's go to the next one, which is the color balance RGB module. Let's activate that. Go to the masks. And then click up here, contrast gray fulcrum that selects the entire image. Now I want to change a couple of things here, right? First, I want to add in some more contrast. And besides the contrast, I also want to add in some more colors using the linear chroma grading. Now you can use the saturation for that as well, but in this case, I'm going to use this because that gives us better results. And now what I want to do is I want to bring back some details in this image. So with this slider, you can increase or decrease the lightness. And in this case, I want to bring more details back in the shadows. And I want to bring back more details in the midtones. But the problem is, when you do that, some of the highlights are being affected as well due to the colors and stuff. So I'm going to drop the highlights very slightly to balance that out again. And then I want to use the haze module or the haze removal module due to the background up here. And you can definitely... Now there's a big difference because this brings back much more details. And then this image does have some noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to denoise it as well. There we go. Now I use the denoise profile one because that automatically finds the profile basically. So you don't have to do anything manual. And then let's bring this image to life even more with a special sauce, which is the low pass module. Let's activate it, but where are all of our details, right? They're gone. Well, don't worry about that. We can click up here and then change the blend mode from normal to overlay, right? That still looks horrible, but trust me, we're going to fix that by moving this saturation slider to the right again. But in this case, I don't want the entire image to be affected. I only want the dark pixels to be affected. So I want to bring back the details with them. We need a parametric mask for that. And we've got different channels that we can pick. So the L, A, B, C, or the U channel. And selecting the green colors here wouldn't work quite well because we have a lot of green in this image. So in this case, I decided we're going to use the lightness one. So that means that we can target the darker pixels of this image. Now we know that the range is somewhere around here. So let's drag this in. And by the way, if you want to see the mouse, just click here and then drag this in. And then we can feather that by moving the bottom slider to the right again. Let's add in some blur and feathering as well. Let's change the mask contrast. Here we go. Right, let's deactivate the mask. And now if we change the brightness, you see that we bring back much more details in the shadows. And that's why I like dark table. So one thing I forgot is to change this to a golden hour type of look. So let's go back to the color balance RGB module. And now we can change the hue. So let's move this to the left to give it that orange glow that you usually have during golden hour, right? 
because the fun fact is this image was shot probably let me click up here and now let's take a snapshot right and then let's go back to the original which was this and we've changed it into this right so we made a crop out of the entire image and we changed it from like a night type of shot or basically an end of day type of shot or a morning shot to a golden hour shot 